the first thing we want to do is link our HTML file to our appropriate JavaScript and CSS files. And this also includes linking to Leaflet itself. So for those of you that haven't done this already, you can go to Leaflet JS and download their API. And you should always download the stable version. At least I recommend that. Always is a bit strong. I've already done that. So uh, what we're going to do is link to this. You, you unzip the download and you save it in a folder. You can save it in your JavaScript folder. I saved it in a new folder called lib. So um, let's go here. And you'll see that it's linking to a bunch of CSS files here in the the head of our HTML. So let's do this. It's important to make sure that the leaflet library comes before your CSS and before um, anything you use that you might call something from the leaflet library with. Uh, you want to make sure that it gets loaded first. Remember that websites read from the top down or browsers read websites and files from the top down, so it reads in order. All right, at the bottom we want to add two new files as well. And so again, these are just the boilerplate scripts that came in. We want to link to First and foremost, the leaflet JavaScript, boom. And second, we want to link to our own JavaScript file, which I've called leaflet demo recording, just to keep it straight from a bunch of other leaflet files I have in here. All right, so now that we've done this, let's hit Control S, save it. And if you're using brackets, you can just preview on the browser by double clicking here. All right, and those buttons, because we loaded in our CSS file, have become a little more stylized. That's pretty nice. So the next step will simply be to load our map. Let's go to the next lesson.